Good afternoon everyone, just a really quick update just to show you uh, where I'm at basically with the J-Car push-up mast, aluminium 4.5mm mast. Uh, I was over at Bunnings just the other day and there's the mighty Delica. Uh, and I've got a tow hitch there and as per my other video I asked if anybody had any advice about hooking up the mast to the tow hitch. Um, at this point it's real simple uh, and really straightforward and well, not quite as cheap as I'd like it, but it gives me a few options. You can see that I've obviously got the, the tow hitch there. So what I actually picked up at Bunnings, and I apologise for the wind if it uh, picks up a little bit here, but i got to take the opportunity while I can. What this actually is is a, a flanged fence post, 1300 long. Uh, I think they did also come in 1.8 and 2100 or 2300. Uh, I actually wanted the shortest one possible, but in retrospect, that in 100 probably wouldn't have been bad, and I'll show you why. I'm choosing not to buy that. The, the focus was really on the uh, the the 50 mil by 50 mil, or two inch by two inch. So it actually slide into the the tow hitch here. Uh, so basically, what I've done is obviously drilled the the hole crossways for the for the pin to attach in. Uh, and the tightening bolt will also tighten down. I haven't got it tightened down real tight, but you can see that's a solid fit. I can actually stand on that. No, I wouldn't do it too often, certainly not at the end, uh, but I can stand on that uh, and it will hold a little bit of weight. So certainly the antenna is not going to be an issue. Uh, I changed out the the normal bolt that was through here just for a, a, a wing nut. And I do have a small bolt in there than intended at the moment, just here at the bottom, it's all held on by one single bolt. Uh, I do have a, a 12 mil to go in there, quite a larger bolt than the one that's already in there, um, uh, just for yeah, the extra support and because the holes that I've drilled through the aluminium are that size, this is hardened steel uh, and unfortunately I, I don't have <laughs> any drill bits that are that size to go through that. So um, you also notice that I've taken off a section of the end here. So, as per, again, the other video, so I can feed the coax up there. And whilst it's actually in this position, you've actually got this bolt through. With the extra length that was on the end, it wouldn't drop um, down to 90 degrees. So, that's another reason for taking that off. Um, at this point, I've pretty much just got it guide out you know, very, very roughly. Uh, that's one of the things that I'll have to spend some time on working out. What I have got on the ends, though, are just bungees. Just to, uh, you know hold it taut uh, and but offer a little bit of um, little bit of give and I've just gone down to the fence post over here and that's same on the other side there's my watchdog get it buddy uh, and same on the other side and just going up to that normal guy point now I'm still undecided at this point whether I'm going to maintain those steel guy lines or whether I'm going to swap those out for maybe uh, in a bank line or a uh, paracord or something like that and you can see this one I've just got running down to the top of the van uh, around the back and just down to the bungee there now like I was saying um, I, I was tossing up between just getting just a normal fence post without the, the plate on the end uh, but this was the only one they had in 1300 like I said I didn't want the longer one but in retrospect the longer one may not have been too bad and I'll show you why I'm really happy that I got the end one here Part of the reason I'm not too displeased that I've actually got the one with the plate, and this certainly wasn't intentional, but it's actually going to work out pretty well, is I've got a few of these, these U-bolts, uh, just that I've used for actually putting up my, my base setup. And lo, lo and behold, these actually fit perfectly into that end plate. So what I can actually do is put another mask on the end here, put, the, put two of those in there like that, and I've got a support for another mast. Now I might actually, uh, I don't know how that's going to work as far as rotating the beam up top, but what I'd probably do is actually put the beam on this one, leave the vertical on that one, uh, put the beam and maybe run a, a HF wire antenna off this or something like this yeah, from the back of the car, or of course obviously there's always going to be trees but anyway. Yeah, but I was really happy with that, that just gives me another option um, as far as placement for another antenna right on the back. Now the reason I went with this arrangement, I have actually considered putting bolts in here, but the reason I went with this arrangement is so I can actually rotate the antenna. So 
as uh, a friend says, the Armstrong method. Um, but you can see you can actually rotate the antenna up there. Uh, whether I'll consider it cheap rotator, TV rotator or something like this for this purpose, I don't know, probably not to be honest. Um, but you can see she's solid enough, she's not really going anywhere. So what we've actually got up top is just going to be more portable setup. So we've got the uh, X50 uh, on top there, which is about 1.7 meters long, and the beam, which is uh, four elements uh, on two meters, and one, two, three, four, five on 70. Uh, might even stick something under there for six meters, but at this point, uh, that's plenty. And uh, we'll just need to set up something for HF. So whether I throw a wire antenna off there or just up in the trees wherever I park, uh, that's going to be my setup. Again, at this point, it's going to be a case of just going through and, and figuring out the guide points, uh, taking it out and testing it. So I wanted to give you just a quick look in the down position uh, so you can see how simple it is for setup. So that's just running down uh, over the top of the fence there. But one nice thing was when I actually bring it down uh, into this horizontal position uh, without the fence there, this actually provides sort of a raised position too, which levels it out with here. Uh, makes it easier to, to throw things on the end. Uh, but my advice to you, if you sort of go with something like this setup, don't put any of your antennas on. Uh, set it all up, guide out so you're happy with the guys, and then so you can actually uh, release the one that's sort of over the back here and go into the vehicle. Um, so then you can release that one, lay it down, and then when you want to set it up, all you do is put tension on that one, pull it up, and away you go. I'll give you just an idea how easy it is to push it back up. Let's grab it and push her up. And there we go. And all you got to do is just tighten up that guy wire there, and over to the vehicle, and away you go. And lowering it down it doesn't hurt if you've got two people. Um, and obviously, I'm here on my own. And Drop it down, watch out for the dog, watch out for the boat, and you're good to go. There you go. Thanks for watching. Any questions, post them up. Uh, thanks to everybody who subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if this video is actually what motivates you to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate you posting up. Let me know. Um, it'd be great to know what actually gets the subscribers and what people like, uh, and which sort of videos they prefer me to keep up with. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.